thank you mr ghosh uh, for giving me the this opportunity to interact with you uh, please tell me about your career and experience in uh, metros and railway industry okay i mean uh, I, i have a very interesting uh, in the career in basically uh, i started my career with uh, uh, indian railways as a young irs officer mm-hmm. i stayed with indian railways for till 2013 mm-hmm. uh, and then moved on to the private sector mm-hmm. and uh, the beauty of the indian railway stint was i was uh, deeply involved in the technology transfer mm-hmm. of the abb locomotive okay in cl w mm-hmm. so we had the privilege of actually building each and every subsystem of the abb locomotive in india okay. so this is one of the most successful technology transfers which ever happened from a multinational to an indian company okay. and we were there for the whole process i mean initially with the technology fee i mean roughly uh, the each locomotive was bought at a price of 35 crores mm-hmm. i mean roughly oh. but the price when we were leaving railways the price came down to almost around 9 to 10 crores and now i believe it is around 6 7 crores so it's a massive walk which has done developed because most of the system there were no indian supplies we had to develop each and every subsystem out mm-hmm. there in india mm-hmm. myself my team mm-hmm. lot of good work lot of good things we learned mm-hmm. and we set up that time some of the high end uh, design software design mm-hmm. software means there is a software called katia in katia we designed the whole of the locomotive we did the analysis we did the structure analysis we did the different type of uh, simpack analysis everything was done in cl okay. so it's a massive okay. uh, walk up so, that was uh, what, is your, uh, what is your what is the current role in spot railway uh, i i'll come to that since you have complete the first question mm-hmm. after that we moved on i moved on to uh, bombardier okay. uh, so from railway to the bombardier mm-hmm. and we had the rather i had the opportunity to create the first rail engineering services in the country Oh, because good. there was no rail engineering services today the bombardier has the largest global center outside their home country mm-hmm. in india mm-hmm. that was actually we started the company with six people oh. today there are almost 900 people working worldwide for all bombardier projects anywhere mm-hmm. i mean that time also we were working with different different bombardier projects mm-hmm. so initially it started with a small design support mm-hmm. after that what happened was that we moved on to different sort of a uh different sort of a design a okay. different sort of a uh design in india mm-hmm. i mean interestingly many people would not know mm-hmm. that many of the london underground mm-hmm. is actually designed in india oh and we are and that's what i mean this is the capability what we have in india mm-hmm. actually what has happened is no one talks about indian capability everyone talks about it is much more foreign easier to buy from foreign mm-hmm. and some of the other fit it in india mm-hmm. similarly uh, if you go to, if you have, you would have seen in the uh, national geography mm-hmm. the train which runs from beijing to lhasa that is the highest altitude train you have in the world uh-huh. it's all interiors it's uh, the luggage racks everything mm-hmm. even the interior design has been done by our indian team mm-hmm. sitting in hyderabad okay. so my uh, so what after what? that i moved on to caterpillar and then uh-huh. to escorts uh-huh. so escorts i've just completed 7 years okay so uh, what inspire you like leaving a comfort zone from the like uh, indian railway create something for my own for my own being the same for example see in, in the railways mm-hmm. uh, in the government the biggest problem is that if you are uh, if you are following uh, only set patterns you are okay and if you want to do something it is difficult because that is how the structure is there and the second is that even if you put in the 200% effort uh-huh. your promotion will be time bound your growth will be time bound <laughs> and many other ecosystem who are not really doing anything mm-hmm. they will also get time bound promotion mm-hmm. so it's not a very uh, if you want to do something with your business the government does not offer that much of a lucrative incentive to be, be there in the government so mm-hmm. i thought that life is only one why not uh, take why a risk manna hai to ek hi bar manna hai na bar bar nahi manna hai perfect perfect so how is scott is going to transform the indian railway See, escorts have been here for almost uh, 60 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, till 2012-13, we were doing very uh, usual traditional products. Mm-hmm. But what has happened in after 2012-13? my present chairman mr nikhil nanda uh-huh. and uh, his father mr rajin nanda uh-huh. gave me a huge empowerment dimankar jo karna karwa 
we believe in. Okay. So once the boss gives you that much of yeah, empowerment, empowerment yeah. and the freedom to do something, mm-hmm. now, you can create wonders. Of course. So, and I had the privilege to get the best of my R&D team, my ex Bombardier team, my ex Alstom team okay. out here. And today, if you see, we have created wonders. Why created wonders? Mm-hmm. For example, if you see a break electronics out yeah, here, over here over this there. is. This is entirely done by in-house design. Entirely done by in-house design, and with that particular uh, in-house design, uh, we have now going in for different type of, I would say, a different type of uh, international certifications. Mm-hmm. So, an Indian company designing for uh, not only for India and maybe for the future global. That is the uh, motivation every day we come to office, and that is the kick pot we have to really do something, and that too. What we are trying to say, it is 30 to 40 percent cheaper than any multinational company because it's an in-house, in-country developed R&D. Mm-hmm. So you get different for a spot really. Yeah. No. Uh, so uh, this is uh, we have also got an order for around 40 cents. It is only uh, it's only time. I mean, once we get all the approval in this thing, one year we'll give a run for our money for any of the multinationals because what? we're so confident about our technology. Okay. Similarly, if you see the doors. Yeah. We have been going to different different multinationals. Mm-hmm. Ki, please give us the technology. We'll do something and mm-hmm. all those stuff. Believe mm-hmm. me, we were talk, People were talking about ten million, mm-hmm. twelve million mm-hmm. euros mm-hmm. for a technology transfer. So, okay. Today, I mean, my boss uh, Nikhil Nanda told me that mm-hmm. 12 million to both are dipan kar. Kya karoge? Mm-hmm. Itna paisa kaise lagayenge? Mm-hmm. Laga sakte, but you see this of thing. Course. I, we challenge ourselves that what we can do for mm. 12 million, mm. without 12 million, mm. we have created our own doors. Mm. And, we, and the beauty is, you can see there are doors in out here, many of the doors are not working. Our only door in the system is working is ours. And we are again going in for international certification. Okay. We are so confident about because it's a homegrown technology. Mm. What is happening to the customer? Mm. If you have any problem with the Fabelli doors, no? mm. you have to wait for the French engineer to come and do this. Thing. The, the center of competence, the center yeah, of domain is yeah, not there in oh, India. Oh, they are oh, not oh. developing. They are using a service guy, Indian guy is a servicing thing. They are not developing the domain in the country. Mm. The domain sits in France or for the other multinational in Germany. Mm. The talent is there, the, the brain is there. Mm. They are doing all the, some polishing, some frequent issues, some this thing. And here we are saying we are doing a clean sheet in Italy. Everything. From it. Yes, we have problem now, but this is the first prototype. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe it does not look so high tech like this mm-hmm. thing, but give us six months, we'll be better than anyone. Okay. That is the spirit what we have. Okay. So, what what we can expect in upcoming years from so, a short railway? From last four years, we have been growing at a CAGR of 25% plus. Okay. And for the next uh, six years, we should be growing at a CAGR of 30% plus. Mm-hmm. And I will not be able to share the exact numbers. Uh, we are one of the most profitable uh, groups of the uh, escorts. So, do you serve any other? Yes, we uh, serve. We do export to uh, different type of uh, brake system, different type of couplers, dampers mm-hmm. to different countries in the uh, mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. And interestingly, we are one of the few companies who are exporting to China. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. So you understand it's, it's, the amount of frugality no. what we are building. Uh-huh. See, once you have your own R&D, mm-hmm. uh, you can do a lot of wonders. If mm-hmm. you see any of the countries worldwide, be it Sweden, be it Switzerland, be it Denmark, you name anyone, mm-hmm. every country has a in-country R&D development, in-country mm-hmm. solid knowledge economy, mm-hmm. which we do not have in India. Okay. My boss wants us to develop that in-country uh, sort of an IP. We will create IP for the country. We that need is the spirit. Yes, we need we that. Need that is the spirit we have that we will create the in-country IP mm-hmm. uh, today or tomorrow. It will take time. It's not that it will happen one day. But within three, four years, we will create whatever the country needs for this thing. And how the clients are benefited by you? So the clients will benefit by two things. Okay. Simple. One is the cost. Perfect. Second is the fact that if you have, I'll give you one more example, like mm-hmm. if you have a brake electronics, yes, yes. anything happens in the brake electronics, mm-hmm. most of the people, they what do they say, mm-hmm. I'll have to refer it back to the our center of excellence in Europe mm-hmm. or you have to replace the whole electronic box because I can't do anything. They don't have the talent, they don't cannot do that. Mm-hmm. Here, we are not only uh, doing the design, we are doing the manufacturing, we will do whatever customization we are doing okay. and we are doing, we are telling something which 
some of the IPs we will be. For example, I am putting a locomotive brake electronics okay. in a particular locomotive. Mm-hmm. For them, mm-hmm. assume in a shed there are hundred locomotives. Okay. And for the multinational, what they will do if you have to up, upgrade a software patch, mm-hmm. they will go to the hundred locomotives and upgrade it. Mm-hmm. It will take one month. After for us. We will upgrade in one single locomotive and push it from that locomotive to all hundred locomotives. It will be work and be at work. Yes, okay. while okay. So that is the amount of level what we are trying to bring in. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ghosh, thank you for giving your time. My pleasure. Thank you.